So in this video we're just going to go over how to back up your merch account by downloading the images and also colors and sizes. Um, so now you can totally back up your merch account, get your images, titles, bullets, descriptions, colors and sizes all ready to be re-uploaded to other markets or other products. Um, it's quite easy to use. So in this example I'm just going to do a few products. So I've done a search for uh, Mum, I've got 263 products, but I, um, and I'm only going to download the standard t-shirts of those. So we come here and we just tick the box next to download images. I want to append product type to prefix, so that's basically going to grab the image file. It's going to name it the title and take out any weird characters and also add standard t-shirt at the front of it just to help um, be more organised. You don't have to do that. You can leave that unticked if you want, um, it's totally up to you. I'm also going to do add colors and sizes on that also. I'm going to choose a directory where I want the images to go to. Um, so I'll create a new folder. Okay, that's where the images are going to be saved. And then all I click now is detailed CSV file and Merch Factor Pro is going to go off and collect all that information. Um, it will take just a little bit longer if you've got added colours and sizes um, just because we have to go to a different page to get that information because Merch doesn't supply it in the back end. So I'm just going to let this run and come back when it's finished. Okay, so Merge Factor Pro has finished gathering all the data for those listings. Um, it's saved to my desktop, so if we have a look at the file, <clears throat> obviously I've blurred some of this out because it actually is my live listings, but you'll see over here there is actually an image file, um, have the colours and also the size. So this is actually a woman's shirt, but if you go down, um, men and women, men, men, men and women, um, men and women and youth, so um, it gathers all that data for you, which is very, very handy. So the next thing I want to show you is being able to generate a CSV file ready to be uploaded with Merch Automator, so you don't have to do any manual changes to the file, you can just <clears throat> automatically um, generate a CSV, upload it into Merch Automator and let it submit those listings on a new marketplace or new designs or whatever you wanted. <coughs> Excuse me. So all you do here is uh, come down to this little box on the right, Generate Merch Automator CSV File. Now you've got two options. You can either use the current file, which it just done, so it's still stored in the memory of the software, or you can choose a new file um, and upload one from your desktop, like maybe a previous detailed CSV file that you've done. Okay, so if we just, I'll use the current one in there. If I click that, it says it's saved to my desktop. It might take a minute or two. So we'll just check out the desktop. It has saved a file. And this is the file here. It's all ready to go. So. Obviously, again, I've let out some of it. <coughs> Got t-shirts. Uh, product type is t-shirt. So that's all done. The brand's in place. Title, bullet one, bullet two. Um, all the colors are in there ready to go. Sizes are in there ready to go. Image file and description. So that's about all. It's um, all very simple. Um, now you can get a full backup of your whole account. So thanks for watching the video.